Okay, in this tutorial I'll just show you a few tools that I use when editing and building objects. And one is beveling, and this is fairly common, but it's a little tricky if you're not familiar with it. So I'll go in, with the object selected, I'll go into edit mode. All right, and I'll grab an edge. I have edge select turned on down here. And then it's simply a matter of, I use the control B shortcut. So control B, and if I mute, move the wheel mouse now, which I'm doing, nothing happens. And I move the mouse around, but you have to move sometimes this mouse a reasonable distance away from where it's located before it starts kicking in. And there it is. And now my wheel mouse takes effect like that. All right, so I'll leave that like that. And then I can spin around and do it over here if I go into vertex select mode and grab a vertex. Then I can do the same thing, but instead of control B, it's control shift B like this. And then the same thing. You can change this out like this. And then the wheel mouse fixes that edge. So it's a really powerful way to get control of the corners like that. And then another thing I uh, like to use here in edit mode is if I grab this here, just things. Sometimes you want to maybe you want to create a space in here, an opening. You don't always have to just say grab a face and delete it and then move it. You could do that. Like for instance, I could take this face and grab that and X out that face only. And then go over here into edge mode and grab this and just kind of slide it along here. Maybe move it up to how I want it. And I've, st and I've created this opening in here like this. All right. Or another way you could just do it is in edge select mode like this. I just come in here and I press V. And V is just allows you to just slice it right open. All right. And then I control Z that or I can press Alt V and Alt V pops it open. But it also adds a face to there as well like that. Those are really powerful tools and they're, they're just great to know. And then let me control Z back out to this cube again. And then sometimes you, instead of using the bevel operator down there, you can use the bevel modifier up here. You grab a modifier like this. And that just by default is going to give you beveling all the way around like this. You can change it in here like that. Let's see but the angle. It's greater than 30 degrees, so this is going to change it here. But those are, if it's greater than, it's got to be, let's see, that probably defaults at 90. Now this should not work, right, when I change this. Right. So basically what it's saying is that the angle has to be at least 90 degree, 98 degrees before the bevel operation will take place. So these are 90 degree corners. So when I get down to 9 or 89 now, when I move this, the beveling actually takes place. All right. So just a couple simple tips and every little bit helps, right? Okay. And that's it for now. I'll see you in the next lesson.